Good day, everybody. Um, welcome to my channel, Tepo Maseko International. This is yours truly, Tepo Maseko. And if it is your first time here, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, not to miss more content when it comes to personal development, mental health, financial freedom, and just becoming a better version of yourself, right? So today's topic, we're going to talk about gratitude, okay? So when I was growing up, um, my parents always told me, um, just be grateful for what you have. But they didn't go deep, deep, you know what I mean? They, they, they didn't analyze it for me. They didn't tell me why I should be grateful for, for what I have, right? So um, gratitude, I've learned this from, you know, people that I look up to, people that I learn from, uh, my mentors, you know, my partners and everything. So with gratitude, I mean, at the end of the day, I do my gratitude routine, right? Every morning and every night. Because what I understood how the sub um, subconscious mind works is that what you do 20 minutes before you close your eyes, it actually it's actually what goes into your subconscious mind. What you do 20 minutes after you open your eyes, I mean in the morning that is, that gets into your subconscious mind and that stays there, right? So that's the difference between, you know, imagination, you know, your, your delta, your alpha, all those vibrations that go on into your mind, right? So um, with gratitude, um, you receive more. That's one thing, right? With gratitude, you receive more. That's just how it is. Be grateful for what you have. Imagine, let me do a typical example. Imagine that I bought you a present, right? It's your birthday. I bought you a present, you know? And when you get this present, you look me in the eyes and you say, uh, you should have gotten me something else. You're not grateful for what I got you. What are the chances that I'm going to get you a present next time? Zero, right? The same happens with us when we are not grateful for what we have, right? Be grateful. God, God is preparing something for you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. You know, it's not easy to say this or it's not easy to do it or go through it, but it doesn't matter what you go through, right? So also the universe, God, Allah, whoever you believe in works the same way. If you're not grateful, for what you currently have you will not receive more right you will not get more from the universe right the universe loves people who are grateful the universe is in favor with people who are grateful because when you are grateful you call abundance upon yourself you call more and more things upon yourself right so be grateful i want you to do this every morning and every night consistently no matter what you're going through. Because think about it. If you can sit down and look for just seven things, seven things, sorry, seven things you can be grateful for, you will most definitely find it. It is there, right? You didn't go to bed on an empty stomach, right? There's a shelter over your head. You have clothes that you wear. Some of you have still, still have jobs. You know, you have a great partner. You have kids. There is something that you can be grateful for. Only if you look for it. The same applies to the opposite. If you look for things that you know are not good, right? Things that are going bad, you will most definitely find it, right? What you look for, you'll always find. What you focus on always grows, okay? So that is the thing. I want you to do this. Write seven things every morning and every night that you are grateful for and feel it. Feel the abundance of it. Don't just say, I'm grateful for the food that I eat. I'm grateful and just go to bed. No, feel it. While you write, think, I am grateful. Thank you, Lord. I am grateful. Thank you, Lord. What that does, it gives you more and more and more of what you are grateful for. That's how the universe works. The universe loves people who are grateful, right? And for those people who are not grateful, because you can see there's a lot of people, you know, some, I'm going to be honest, some people are just poor brats, right? Um, a person has a shelter over his, um, his or her head. A person has, you know, a car. A person has, um, how can I put it, food that they eat in the morning and at night. They don't stress. They don't think about those things. But yet they are ungrateful, right? It's about time you move yourself from those type of people. It's about time you distance yourself from those type of people because their energy is going to flow onto you, right? And think about it. The person, whatever job you do, 
the person who's grateful for that job that you do in your team, in your environment, in your workplace, your colleagues, think about it. There is that one who's grateful for what they do. There is that one who's not grateful, who's always complaining. Who gets the most out of the day between the two? You know them. Maybe you might be one of those who are grateful. Maybe you, wanna, you might be one of those who are complaining. There is somebody who gets most out of it. Obviously, it's the grateful one. Because automatically, the mindset says, I'm here to enjoy. It might not be easy. It might not be the job that I want to do. But as long as I'm here, for the time that I'm here, I am going to enjoy. I am going to be grateful because I know the bigger picture. I know where I am going, where my life is leading me. Right? So they are, people who are grateful in workplaces are the ones who enjoy their work. You know, even when they are tired, um, they seem to have fun. They seem to make, you know, laugh with clients or customers, whoever you deal with. Right? So those are people that are always there always having fun and don't let people put their negativity onto you let me tell you something if they haven't told you about this misery loves company misery loves company once you do something good for yourself somebody who's doing something bad or not doing anything at all will want to drag you with them that is why misery loves company that's just how it is when somebody is down there energy wise mindset wise you know, they are down there. They don't see the bigger picture. And you are up here. They will try to put you to their level. They will try by all means. Tell you how bad the world is. Tell me how, you know, how we're not making money at work. How we are being abused. How we're not getting those promotions. They will always try and bring you down, right? It's about time you moved away. Get away from those type of people. I suggest you get away, right? I'm not saying judge them. There's a difference. When you judge them, you just sit there and in your mind go like, ah, oh, this person is that, is that, is that. Let them be. They'll have their time where they see this. Let them be. But move away for your own safety, for your own energy. Because energy is not um, created nor um, um, destroyed, right? It's just transformed. Energy is transformed. And energy is something that we cannot see. But it is there. The universe is made out of energy. Everything. You know, it's made out of energy. So start being grateful for what you have so you can have more. Gratitude, <coughs> sorry, um, gratitude is the best practice you can ever do for yourself, for your spirit, you know, for your soul, for your physical well-being. Gratitude is the best thing you can ever do for yourself. So I suggest start being grateful for what you have, you know. There's a saying that um, you, you're not grateful for your shoes until you see somebody who's barefoot, right? Some people, that, that's why I'm saying they are spoiled. They have never walked barefoot. They have never, you know, went to bed hungry, right? That's the difference between a person who makes it and a person who doesn't make it. A person who makes it is a person that says, I can, I will, and I must. This one says, I might. You know, it depends on what I feel like, the mood. There's nothing like the mood when it comes to success. You know, you do something you hate. You will have to do something you hate. You will have to get out of your comfort zone. There's no other way, right? So what I'm saying is start being grateful for what you have. Start being grateful for what you are doing. Start being grateful for what you're getting. So the universe can start blessing you more and more and more. Right? Because sometimes we pray in faith but walk in fear. Did you get what I'm saying? I'm going to repeat that. Sometimes we pray in faith but we walk in fear. You know what I mean? You pray, oh dear Lord, I receive and all of that. But when we start walking, our mindset sinks in. It goes down. Uh, I don't have this. Oh, this is going bad for me. This and this. Yeah, it's going bad for you because you're not being grateful. Be grateful for what you have and everything will fall into place. Everything will get there. It's a process. Trust it. Don't try and run away from it. Trust it. Right? Um, so that's all that I had to say with you today. Um, please tell me what you're grateful for in the comments. Because there is something you are. There is something that you can be grateful for. There is something going on with you right now. That you can be grateful for. You've been through the worst. You've been downhill. Hey, you had nothing at some point. Now you have everything that you prayed for.
right? Remember, in life, we don't get what we want, but we get what we are. So fix yourself before you want to fix everything else. Fix yourself before you want to fix the world. Get yourself straight. Work on yourself, right? The best investment you can ever make is in yourself. That's the best thing ever. Because you might lose money. Think about it. The wealthy people like um, um, the president of the, the ex-president, the previous president of, of United States, um, Donald Trump, right? That guy was a billionaire, lost all his money and more and was in debt. And he made all that money years later and more. Because when you work on yourself, when you know yourself what you're capable of, nothing will ever stand in your way. Not losing a family member, not losing money, not losing a job, not losing your business. Nothing will ever stand in your way. Because you are your best asset. Your mind is your best asset. Your soul is your best asset. Your spirit. So learn to be grateful. Right? Yes. So that's all that I had to say to you today. Learn to be grateful, right? Seven things you are grateful for every morning and every night so you can get the most out of life. Wake up with a smile. Wake up with success. Feel it. Smell it. The moment you see that sun <laughs> shining on your window or when you wake up before it, where everybody wakes up, when it's so dark, you know, feel it because there is abundance and you deserve abundance. All right? So leave your comment on this video. Let me know what you think. And I would really appreciate it. Also, if you like this video and subscribe to this channel, not to miss more content, right? Not to miss more chances of being a better version of yourself, right? Not to miss more chances of being financially free, okay? Remember, it's not about how much you make. It's about how you use it, okay? Thank you so much. This is Tepo Maseko, and see you on the next video. Thank you.